actually curious here. I will suggest some other ones that you can try on your own. Okay. So here we go. You're on page 72, right? This is your last example you're going to get from me on expected value. And it's worth three marks usually. So three marks on a test that's 40, that's close to 10%. Right? If you think about it, a charity holds a raffle. Each raffle costs $5. That is very important to us because we're going to need to have a cost in our expected value. There are 2,000 tickets sold, right? And below are the prizes, right? So one ticket wins 25 grand, $2,500, sorry. Four tickets, $75. 20 tickets win $25. Okay. So calculate the expected value of this ticket. I gave you a formula. You need to go back to page 70 or 69, somewhere in there, to figure this out. There are three prizes to be won, okay? So one out of, one out of what? Just add this. Is it 25? It's 2,000. One ticket out of the 2,000 sold that's the probability of winning that prize. So you go, you multiply that, it's almost like a prediction, right? You multiply that probability times the amount you can win, but you must subtract the $5 that it costs to play to, to buy a ticket, okay? I hope you're writing this down. And then the second prize to win the $75, there's a 4 out of 2,000 chance that you're going to win the $75. But again, if that happens, remember, you always have to account for you having paid 5 bucks to play. Usually it ends there, by the way, but I made this one go for three prizes. So there's a third prize to be won, which is 20 out of 2,000. You win 25 bucks. Not bad. But remember, you paid, 25, you paid $5 to play. So prize number one, this is, your, these are your, this is going to be your outcome here. Second prize. Third prize. Surprise, minus, now this is the big minus at the end. This one is different. This one is just, you come up with your probability of losing, which by the way, is gonna be out of 2000, right? Because only so many tickets win, all the other ones, obviously, you lose. So I'm gonna do this for now. And make sure when you lose, you basically lose the five dollars and that's where this negative comes from okay you lose five dollars what number goes in there if I give you a hundred bucks right now I should I should rephrase that a uh, hundred marks I'm just kidding what would you put in there that is always the kicker right there what would you put in there Nyla you cannot answer I think because I think you figured it out already I think what would you put in there? 25? 25 is part of coming up with that number. So, Andre, if 1 and 4 and 20, 25 people, like 25 tickets win something, so how many tickets don't win anything? Would that help you figure this out? Does that make sense? 1,975 because, right, these 25, so I will do this, 2,000 minus 25 tickets. These are, they win something. Win. Yeah. I never said that on live TV, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. But if I don't post it, it never happened. So you take away these 25 winning tickets, and so that is 1,900 and 75. 
Does that make sense? So easy when Mr. Dirksen does it, right? But then on the test, you know what? On the test, you you have to try something. Don't leave it blank. Because I can fish for marks if you're plugging in correct. This is like from the province. This is not me making it up. So if you're able to like show me, this is a big one that you're always subtracting the cost of playing. But at the very end, this is probability of losing times the cost. You don't, this negative takes care of the minus here. So don't put a negative in here, okay? So let's clean this up. One over 2,000. I, I strongly discourage you from doing this in one shot. I would not recommend that. So plus four over 2,000. You're sitting there. It's like, I did it, Mr. Dixon. So there. Well, good for you. Right. Uh, 20. There you go. That's clean enough. Like my boys making their rooms like this. Clean enough. Clean enough. Can I play video games now? Um, one over two thousand times twenty four ninety five. So I I actually would write down all of it if possible. Plus, clear screen four divided by two thousand times seventy. That's a weird number, but I'm gonna write it down. Then the next chunk plus 20 over 2000 times 20. That's only 20 cents, right? Minus 1975 divided by 2000 times 5. That's minus 4.9375. Uh, Mr. Dixon, what if I just round to two decimals everything here? You're going to be all right. Uh, expected value in particular because it's dollar amounts that you're figuring out. It's okay to do that. So I'm going to go 1.2475 plus 0.14 plus 0.2 minus 4.9375. That is negative. Make sure you don't miss that negative. Negative 3.35. Expected value is stated in dollars, okay? Don't forget that. If you want full marks, you need to make sure you include that. So it's a bad idea to play. Why? Because it's negative. Not because it's a small number. Not because you're expecting a thousand or something. It's because of the negative, right? So I'll just make a arrow there. Loss expected. loss expected. Should you play this game? You will say nope or nah, right? Or something like that because the expected value is negative. Right? This indicates a loss in the long run. Okay, that indicates a loss in the long run. So if you were to play the uh, game 98 times, how much would you expect to win or lose? We've determined that you're going to lose. So you just go 98 and multiply that by the 335. And I posted the key of this online. It's all there under expected value. Make sure you put that zero down, right? Your calculator doesn't put the zero, but if it's a dollar amount, you have to have it, okay? Loss, I'll just make sure right, my audience knows that that's a loss. Okay. Um, so if you want more practice, right? I would strongly suggest, I think if you do, I think if you do, even two or three of these before the test, you will have at least a good idea of what to expect, okay? Okay. Um, one more thing. You should probably add this to the front of your booklet. Uh, previous units. Okay. 
there's going to be leasing, a question on leasing. Trig, so cosine law, sine law, that's it. No, quizzes you always keep. The tests I take back because, uh, right, so there's what you have uh, the online, you have the uh, Google form test. You have the chapter review and you have the chapter test. Okay. 